Hey everybody, Anne here, and I just wanted to give you a little update on my worm farming endeavors in my van. I've got some new bedding for them and some new worms, so take a look. I got me two bins of these Wrangler Live Red Wigglers that will withstand a higher temperature level, so hopefully they'll work this time. Also from Walmart, I picked up a new kind of worm bedding that I'm going to try out. It was on sale for a couple of bucks, so you know what? What the heck? And it gives you directions on the back on how to do it and it's really really quite simple so i've already dumped about a quarter of the bag in it just feels like shredded up cardboard like egg cartons shredded up and it's very very dry so you absolutely have to add water to it you just have to add water and it gives you the measurements of how much water but basically you add water until you can squeeze it and you know you can just maybe a teensy bit of water comes out so i had to add a good bit of water and also it's very dusty so you really really do not want to do this inside a van you might want to take it out in your garage or whatever um so i'm just squeezing it up and hopefully hopefully i'll get the right mixture I'm not sure. We're going to see here in a minute though. And I just keep squeezing it and kind of tossing it around and um, yeah, inevitably I had to add more water. Alright, yeah, I added the rest of the bag of the bedding and some more water and I'm just kind of tossing it around and squeezing it so that there's any excess water. It'll just drip out on the dryer stuff. And I just kept going around the bin and doing this and squeezing and making sure and it sticks to your hands and it causes kind of a big mess but you know what no big deal here let me see if I can get this in focus for you so that you can see kind of what it looks like better now there we go yeah that's what it looks like it almost looks like cloth and now for the stars of the show Wrangler Live 30 natural juicy fat red worms and I got two tubs of these dump them down in there and spread them around a little bit. Oh, look at these beauties. Oh my goodness, they're very, very lively. Oh yeah, I love to fish with these things. I catch me a lot of panfish with them. So I'm just gonna kind of spread them around, spread the, the um, their, well, castings or the dirt, whatever they came in. And um, oh my goodness, just look at them. They're awesome, they are awesome. I hope I can get these to breed. I hope I don't kill them. But you know what? We will just see. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Well, there we go. Now we're in focus. Yeah, they're, they're already trying to get down there into the bedding. Okay, one additional modification that I've made for this bin is I have put a container almost all the way down to the bottom, but it's surrounded by the bedding. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and I have filled it with ice. So I think part of the problem that I had last time is that it just got too hot in here for the worms. Now the red wigglers that I got are a kind that can survive in warmer temperatures. Now the night crawlers uh, that I've got down in there, no, no. Um, they will need to be kept cool definitely. But the weather is generally cooler right now so oh looky, looky a worm is trying to escape. Oh my goodness. Uh, but anyhow, so I've got the ice in there, and uh, as it melts, it'll melt into this container, but the condensation will also offer a little additional um, moisture to the bin. Um, and so if, it, if the bin starts getting too moist, then I can always take it out and figure something else out. But um, yeah, I better... This won't be in focus. I better get this little wormy uh, back in the bedding so it does not elope. So hopefully this little modification will help these worms stay healthy and uh, that they'll be happy in here and start breeding. Alright, let's close this little lid and tamp it down really good. I'll probably put something on top of it. Oh my god. This won't focus, but I wonder how many others got out. Oh god. Alright, well we're definitely going to rescue this little guy. Come on. Come on, I'll help you. Come on. Whew. Oh my goodness.
I don't know. I don't see any signs, like no dirt or anything, anywhere else. <sighs> Looks like they got out, this one. Hopefully only one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to figure out... And I thought I had this closed really, really well. Huh. Looks like it got out th through this way. This border. <laughs> that is too funny. Let's see how this ice is holding up. Mm, melted, so I get to put some more in there. Let me see how cold this is. Oh, that's still pretty cold. So I don't think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave the cold water in there today. Alrighty, well, once I get some more light, I'm going to take a better look at this bin and see what's going on in there. See if I can find any more worms in my van. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Alrighty, let's take a little look underneath this to see how things are going. Um, I wish the light was better. It's kind of overcast today, so I'm just going to kind of dig through here and see what's going on. Yep, there's plenty of worms down in there. Let's see if I can find one of the earthworms. Oh, yes, indeedy. Oh, not too happy that I'm messing with it. All right, so there's a good earthworm there. I'm not going to spend too much time digging in this because I really... All right, that earthworm looks very, very healthy. Um... That's a red wiggler, I think. I don't think that's a earthworm. Okay. Yeah, because see, it, this stuff just looks like it's shredded paper, basically. And honestly, you can do that yourself. You don't need to buy it. But it was only a couple bucks, and it was a good amount. So... Let me get down here and just see if I can find any wormies way down in there. Yep. Yeah. They're kind of distributing themselves. And this bedding still feels very, very cool. So, that's all good. That's all going to be fine. I don't think they're going to be breeding for a while, though, but that's okay, too. Let me just kind of look over here and see what's going on in this side. And I haven't put any food in. Oh, yes. Look at this big fat one. And look at that one. Okay. Let me get out of here, Fly. I don't want you in here. Definitely don't want you in here. And um, you know what? I could I could dig. There's more. There's plenty of worms in here. Um, and I did want to let you know, I inspected the van. I kind of like lifted things up off the floor and... Um, carpeting and whatnot just to make sure there were no other worms that had eloped and there were not. Yeah, water. That's still real cold water so I'm not going to add anything else to it. Um, I'll probably end up getting some newspaper and putting that over the top. I think that might last a little bit longer. But um, yeah, so I looked all over the place for more worms. I couldn't find any signs, you know. You would find, you would see little pieces of dirt like that, I think. Um, and there was nothing and there were no worms. So I think I'm okay. Um, what I'm going to have to do is, because this is just a cheapy little ice chest, and I had it kind of like shoved into that little cubby that you guys saw underneath the, you know, my kitchen area. And towards the back, this area, this comes open a little bit because of the way that the two cabinets squeeze against this part and this part. And um, overnight, I had taken off the thing that was on top of it. It was just basically a um, uh, 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 one of the camp uh, cooktops in its case was on top of it, kind of holding it down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape around the sides. You know, just some, I don't know, I might use some duct tape or something just to make sure. And then I'm going to put something on top to weight it down to just to make sure that they cannot get out. Because I guess these worms are pretty strong and was able to kind of push it up or maybe just squeeze out a crack. So 
I'm going to have to make very sure that doesn't happen again. And so, I don't know. That's the worm ban update number one. Right on. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.